So this is a quick demo of how to um, generate a background mask or how to put in a background mask in the um, in the program, which is the new bit that I've put in. Um, I've written it currently so that if you've already generated some of the landmark files, you can just rerun it through and it will ask you about it. So in this one, we've already generated um, the nest and landmark file. So, okay, so it's already been set, so that's all okay. So we just click it through. Now, what I'll do is I'll just say, oh, right, I want to adjust this. And the new thing it will ask you is, um, once you get through these bits, uh, is do you want to put in a mask? And you can enter a mask that's a, a circular mask or a polygonal mask. We'll do the circular one first because it's easier. So if you enter one type of mask, then what you want to do is click on points on the rim which roughly go over the center it's not really important um, but these gives you the estimates the radius estimates so that's my kind of roughly my circle um, I can put it in the middle here and adjust it how we normally adjust the, the center so that's kind of roughly got the center right and then I can decrease the radius of the mask like that or increase it like that um and yeah i'll probably want to move it up a bit anyway that's that's the kind of thing so once I've, I've selected it i can um that would be masking out all the regions outside that okay so now um when i now go into the check threshold program um which will come up in a second uh what you'll see i'll go into it now what you'll see in this first frame so then there's, there's no disk nest what you can see is that um it's masked out all this background bit okay so there's no you can see there's like loads of noisy bees that's being found in the middle here but there's no there's nothing outside that because i've masked off the background okay all right so that's kind of how it works if we want to do a circular mask um if we want to do a um, a polygonal mask, so basically it's when you want to do a square, so you want to mask off a square of a background or any polygon, right? Um, so that's fine. That's fine. Let's go in and adjust this again. Um, ordinarily, it would then just ask you to adjust for the mask, right? Um, yeah, so go in. So it won't normally do this. So it goes in. It says, right, what, what mask do you want to do? So let's say we're going to mask the background as a polygon this time, right? So um, this time I've used MATLAB's own function, so it works a bit better. But basically, you can, suggest to, you can just click on different points. So like, let's say it was a square region I wanted to block off. It's like here, here, and it, it does it a bit better than my one. It blocks off. So this would be the region it would block off, or it could, I could be here, I could be here. Um, if you go out of the frame, it puts in the point as being on the frame. Um, and then you can you can just press return and it's done. Um, or you can um you can also move these points earlier, or you can it, and once you press return, it will it will sort of cordon off these points. So it's gonna use all it's only gonna look at for bees within and pointing which is pointless at the screen which is within the thing there so that set my mask right also i can press return to end it um i can still um in in the next section so the red is indicating the mask i can adjust this right so i can click on this point so i want to move it in here sort of thing i'll move it a bit closer in let's say and i've, I've adjusted the mask like that so there i've got the polygonal mask um, and then once I've said OK to all this, again, if we go through to um, the bit where we're checking the bees um, here and get zero. Now you can see that I've got a different mask, right? So it's not looking for bees. It's only looking for bees inside that region. OK, so that should um, all work. The place where it's going might get a bit tricky is because i haven't fully debugged but it should all work fine but if you get any weird stuff is there's a bit where in the program it, it checks to see if there's any gaps in the trace of the b right and that might go a bit funky it should work I, i've debugged it a bit it should work but if there's any issues in that bit 
um, pause. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you that bit of the program. One sec. OK, the bit where it might go wrong is the bit where um, so the program, once it's done all the processing, it checks to see if there's any uh, frames that don't have bees in. Right. So because it might be that um, we've deleted some of the bees or whatever. So they might be like, oh, B, 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 no B. And then the B. So it checks to see if there's a B in this bit. Right now, obviously, we want to do that for one thing. If we've got a mask, it, I don't I don't obviously if the B's gone out of the frame was going out of the frame. I don't want to keep checking all these frames where the B should be out of the frame. Likewise, if it's gone out of the mask and come back in, I don't want to check those. So it should work fine. Right. I'll show you kind of what happens at the stage of the thing it is here so i'll do it from in in this way uh we won't check shadows we're going to check the gaps right oh, i'll just run it through here um so what happens is um in this case i've got a circular mask in this one and it's plotted out a mask here right so it says these are the bees the potential bees that i've missed right um the red ones which i don't have any are ones that are by the edge and the green are the ones that i'm going to check to see if there's actually a bee here um so um the thing is that now what it does is it, it shouldn't if there's any predicted bees that are outside the mask it shouldn't it it shouldn't get them so it's possible that it might go wrong in that stage if it does there's an issue with that let me know and I'll i'll fix it but as far as i can tell it should work fine at this point okay all right, um, I will stop that now and yeah, should all work fine. Should all work fine from here. Cheers. Bye.